So this cable panel is worked on 30 stitches and then you add the background of reverse stockinette. So you just need 30 stitches to make the cable and then you can add whatever background stitches you want. So for row one, you'll be on the right side of your work. So you're gonna start off by purling your reverse stockinette stitches, however many you might have. I have put five on either side. Then to work the cable, you're gonna start with knitting nine stitches. You'll also be needing a cable or double pointed needle to make to work the cable. So after you've knit your nine, we're going to start with a cable six back. So we're going to slip the next three stitches onto our cable or double pointed needle and we're going to hold it in the back of our work. Then we're going to knit the next three off our left needle. and then we're going to knit the three off our cable needle. Then we're going to work a cable six front, so we're going to slip the next three and hold them in the front. And then we're going to knit the three off our left needle. Then we're going to knit the three off our cable needle. And then we're going to knit our remaining nine stitches of our cable. And then work your reverse stockinette. So now every even row, you're just going to knit your reverse stockinette stitches and purl your cable stitches. So for row three, you just go ahead and work your reverse stitches by purling them. Then we're going to knit the first six stitches of our cable. And then we're gonna do a cable six back, so slip the next three stitches and hold them in the back of your work. Knit the next three from your left needle Then you're going to knit the three off your cable needle. Then you're going to knit six. Then you're going to work a cable six front, so you're going to slip the next three stitches and hold them in the front of your work. And then you're going to knit the next three off your left needle. Then you're going to knit the three off your cable needle. and then knit your last remaining six. Then just work your reverse stockinette stitches. 
for row 5 you want to start off by working your reverse stockinette stitches. Then we're going to begin by knitting 3. Then we're going to do cable 6 back, so we're going to slip the next 3 onto our cable needle and hold in the back. Then we're going to knit the 3 off our left needle. Then we're going to knit the 3 off our cable needle. Then we're going to knit 12. Then we're going to do cable 6 front, so we're going to slip the next 3 and hold in the front. Then we're going to knit 3 off our left needle. Then we're going to knit the 3 off our cable needle. and then we're going to knit three. And then just work your reverse stockinette stitches. For row seven you want to start off by knitting your reverse stockinette stitches and then we're going to start off with our cable six back. So we're going to slip our first three knit stitches onto our needle and hold it in the back. Then we're going to knit three from our left needle and then we're going to knit the three off our cable needle then we're going to knit 18 Then we're going to cable 6 front, so slip the next 3 and hold it in the front of your work. Knit 3 from your left needle. Knit 3 from your cable needle. And then you're just going to purl your reverse stockinette stitches. And then row 8 you're just going to knit your reverse stitches and purl your cable stitches. And that's it. You just keep repeating rows 1 through 8 to complete this gorgeous cable. I love cables because they seem so intricate and yet they're so simple. So I hope you guys try this one out because I think it is the most unique looking cable I've seen. Now look at it, it kind of looks like eyes. So it's like a small face in your project. So I hope you guys enjoy this one. Stick around to the end of the video to see some viewers creations. And if you want yours to be featured in a future video, please send me a photo either to my Twitter, Facebook, or email. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed this one and I'll see you next time.